All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Spinify Podcast. Today we're on episode number 12. I know it's crazy. We're back with another video. It's been like one, two, three. It's been four days. And the last video we made was like a Minecraft tutorial video, which isn't the most high quality video. But we're back with a podcast. What better than to talk about where the channel's at, where the world's at, where everything's at, because the channel's in such a weird spot. The world is in such a weird spot. Everything is just crazy right now. And it's, what is it? Jennifer went to, it's June 21st, January, February, March, April, May. June. Hey, let's go, everybody. We're, we're over halfway done with 2020. That deserves a round of applause. <laughs> there we go. But bro, everything is just so crazy right now. And it's, I got to address the lack of uploads recently. I got to address like just everything that's been going on because I've just, bro, the channel, I remember myself, I think it was in a podcast probably like two months ago. I told myself, I was like, like I knew going into the summer, I was going to get busy. I knew I'd get busy. And I told myself, I was like, bro, I mean, I know I'm going to get busy this summer, but I think I'm still going to be able to upload every single day because at that point I'd gotten so used to it. I'd gone like 70 days, which is looking back at that now, 70 days uploading every single day is just absolutely incredible. I applaud myself. That is, that is amazing. I can, bro, I can't see myself doing that right now, honestly, 70 days in a row, but I, I had uploaded for like 70 days in a row back then. And I told myself, I was like, all right, man, summer's coming. You're going to get busy. You're going to go to the lake. You're going to work. You're going to farm. You're going to golf. You're going to do it all, but you gotta, you gotta get the YouTube videos in there. And here I am today, and in the last, like, two weeks, I've uploaded, like, three videos. And we got to get into that, because here's the deal, all right? So, first of all, two weeks ago, I made my my video, which is, like, every YouTuber makes this video at some point. He's like, what is it? I'm taking a break from YouTube. I'm taking a break from YouTube is the video I made. I basically just told you guys I'm going to be taking a little bit of time off from, from the channel. Basically, because here's, here's the thing, all right? Here's what I was doing. So, basically... Every single day, I had to make a video for you every single day at that point. And what I was doing was I would, like, wake up in the morning and I would have a video, like, not even started yet. So I had to spend the entire day making the video. And that, like, from 8 a.m. until I had, and then I had, like, midnight to get it up for each video every single day. I, I wasn't ahead of the game at all. Every single day, I'd have to start a video and finish it that day. And then when the summer came and I had to work the day also, this just got, like, impossible. So I was finally like, all right. It's time to take a break. We're going to take a week off. And what you're going to do during this week is you're going to make maybe three, four videos. And you're just going to get ahead of the game for next week. You're going to get ahead of the game and you're going to take, you're going to start making videos. You're going to get three or four videos ahead and then you're just going to get ready to grind and hit the summer hard. And here we are, we're two weeks in and we have like three videos made. But what happened, that was my goal. My goal is to make like three videos in my week off. But what I ended up doing that entire week off was absolutely nothing YouTube related. Absolutely nothing YouTube related. I just, bro, okay, so I think I made the video on a Tuesday. Yeah, I made the, I'm going away from YouTube for a week video on Tuesday. And by the way, Thank you so much for the support on that video. It got like so many likes. It got so many comments. And that was awesome to see the support from you guys. Because what that showed me is that you guys were supportive of the break. That you guys were there for me. And that you guys would come back when I was done. And that's exactly what happened. Because I made the 900 subscriber special like a couple days ago after taking my week off. And what do you know? You guys were there for the support. And it was awesome that you guys thanked me. And it, bro, that's awesome to see. <sighs> and now, bro, okay, here's the deal. We're just going to get into it, all right? I didn't have this. I didn't plan on doing a podcast today at all, to be honest. I didn't plan on doing a podcast today. And it's because I've fallen into this like weird slump, man. Back back two months ago, two months ago, my channel, I was used to uploading every single day. I was like, you got to get a video done here. You got to get a video done here. You're, I, I was so used to uploading every single day that I just found it easy. I wasn't, I wasn't tired of it. I wasn't bored of it. I just found it so easy. And I was just grinding out the videos every single day. And honestly, I feel like I like the state of my channel where it was not, not like with you guys, but you guys are awesome. You're still here. But like, I like what I was doing with my channel a while back because I feel like the videos were much better content. And I mean, I had a lot more time to make them because I wasn't working yet, but I had one every single day and it was well edited, well edited. And where I'm at now is I'm in the mixture. All right, I was talking to Dova Snipes on the discord today because he was like, bro, where's the podcast at today? And that was at like, maybe that was Josh. I think Josh asked where the podcast was. And that was at like, bro, I think I was golfing when I saw that, Josh. I don't know if I responded to you, but I'm sorry. I was at the golf course. But I saw that and I was like, bro, what am I doing? I mean, I'm sitting at the golf course. I love to golf, but th there's these people, there's 961 people who are subscribed to me right now who want me to make content. Why am I choosing the golf course over getting a video done today? I've had all week, literally all week, I said I'd come back. This would be my big week back and I upload two videos, bro. And it's just because I've gotten into this weird cycle. Back then I'd upload every single day and now I'm getting used to uploading like every three or four days. So for me, that feels normal, which is a terrible, terrible habit to get into here, but that's where I'm at. And I need to get back into that feeling I'm uploading every single day and having that be the norm because now it's like uploading a video every, every, every other day, every three days, every four days. And eventually we all know that's going to turn to like every week, which is, which is getting close to that point, which is terrible. And I'm just, I'm so, okay. The reason I'm making this podcast is because it's, it's my biggest fear in life. All right, everybody. I remember 
I think it was like episode number four for the podcast. I did a podcast with Nacho or Zero, and we just went through we went through Ask Reddit, and we just answered like all the deep questions in Ask Reddit. And if I remember it, I feel like one of the questions was, "What's your biggest fear?" But I don't know, maybe. But if 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 anybody ever asks me what my biggest fear, like some people may say like spiders, snakes, something like that. But for me, man, my biggest fear is letting people down and like disappointing people and having people disappointed in me not happy with me and that's why you guys see me on the like the server i'd like never want to start beef but somebody's always disappointed whenever you start beef so it's kind of hard not to do that you see me on the on the minecraft streams i'm like bro i, I don't want to start beef with this person let's just let's just settle down everybody let's settle down because again i just don't want people to be mad at me that's that's literally like my biggest fear in life and i mean bro i'm, I'm trying to start a youtube channel i don't want people to be mad at me that's like the last place you want to go because bro the internet is like 20 percent love 80 percent hate 80% hate and that, that's what I'm getting myself into but again I just feel so much more comfortable talking on the internet I don't know why bro I love I love making YouTube videos but I haven't been showing it recently because again three videos in the last two weeks so where's my mindset at and again I didn't have I wasn't planning on doing a podcast today for some reason why was I not planning on doing a podcast today because again I fall into this normal feeling where two videos a week is good enough and that's not good enough at all because you guys are subscribing for probably daily content, good zombies videos, probably not the Minecraft tutorials. I just post those out there because they can help somebody and they only take like two or three hours to make. Whew. Which kind of brings me to the next problem. I need to find a way. I told Dova this in the Discord today. I need to find a way to make like good videos that you guys will enjoy without putting like 10 hours of editing into them because the current state I'm at right now, bro, the videos I make, like the well edited videos, like the 900 subscriber special, the Discord, uh, disc. The Discord suggestion videos, like the subscriber special videos, all those. Jeez, okay. Those take like literally 10 hours to make. And that is just so overwhelming of a feeling when you have a 10 hour video that's due in like a couple days, which I mean, 10 hours in a couple days doesn't sound like a lot. But to me, man, editing is like literally, bro, I don't know how I feel about editing. <laughs> like editing is overall, it's extremely boring. But sometimes I can enjoy it. I don't. It's so weird. No, it's more boring than it is fun. But basically, what I need to do is I need to find a way to make good videos without spending ten hours editing them because that would help a lot. Because I can get good videos out to you guys, and if they only took like two or three hours to make, that would be awesome. Because I could easily do that. Like I could easily come home from work and put like three hours into a video instead of like having to sit there and edit for like six hours. And what I'm thinking right now is I need to. <laughs> please, we need to get to a thousand subs. Not asking you to subscribe. Subscribe if you want, but you don't have to. We need to get a thousand subs so I can use this face cam, which is looking at me right now on top of my monitor, which I've had for like three weeks because we haven't hit a thousand subs yet. Because again, I lost the motivation to grind. Dova Snipes told me you should have hit a thousand subs before you took a break. And I still kind of don't really agree with that because I think if I would have hit a thousand and just taken a break, that would have ruined the hype. But like, bro, maybe I should have just grinded, grinded it out until a thousand. I don't know because I've, I'm losing motivation right now. And that's just, once again, it's a mixture of being busy and a mixture of... Of, of losing motivation and let's see Dova asked me where why am I losing that motivation and it's again it's just the editing stage is so so like tedious it's so time consuming it's so boring like the easiest part of the video is recording it. I'm just letting you know the easiest part is recording it. that's the most fun part and like right after that I'm like all right let's go put this video down let's spend like a couple of hours finding all the good parts editing it. it it's it's not fun and like again one of my goals all right here here I'm using this podcast to reflect so far I've reflected a couple months ago, I told myself I'm going to upload every single day in the summer. I failed that. So past Smitty, I'm sorry, man. I let you down. You were not right at all. I have failed so much. In the last three weeks, I've uploaded two videos. Three or last two weeks, I've uploaded three videos. And we got to figure something out here, man. Because, again, the channel's in such a weird spot. I got to start figuring stuff out. And I knew... I See, I went into the summer knowing something like this would happen. Because I knew, I knew obviously, times are going to get tough. Things are going to change. But I still feel like... I still feel like I could be doing better than what I am right now, for sure, because I've uploaded t two videos this week. After my big video, I'm like, bro, I literally took a week off. I had a week to make more than two videos, and I get two videos out to you guys in my week back, and one of them was a Minecraft tutorial video. And here's the deal. <sighs> bro, I am in such a bad spot, man. I gotta, here's the, all right, you know what, I think, I think the best way to start out the week is the podcast. I am so happy that Josh and Dova told me in the Discord server they they motivated me. I need that person to motivate me because they, 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 they visually, and God, and Nacho, they visually typed in the chat. They showed their disappointment in me, and that just motivated me to get in here, get in the booth, and record a podcast. Because, again, I thought to myself, like, why am I not doing this? Why am I, do why am I not doing this, man? And it's just it's because it's become a norm to me to just make two videos a week. And that's, bro, I don't know how I've fallen into that, but i got to figure out how to fix that. 
So anyway, we're, we're back recording the podcast because once again, I don't want to disappoint you guys. And I feel like I've been doing that for like two months now, which is terrible. And I look back at my channel like two or three months ago, three months ago, and it was just like well-edited video after well-edited video every single day, getting them up. And bro, I look back at that and I'm like, wow, dude, <laughs> like that was only like four or five months ago. And here we are. And I feel like we're just in a lot worse spot, but we're still gaining subs, which is awesome, man. The support on this channel is just something I always wanted. Like again, going back to it, I just want to entertain people. I want to make their day better. I want to make them feel good about themselves. Like here's the big goal with the YouTube channel. I want to be like, all right, hey, somebody upload a video. Now I can go watch. Now I can go eat lunch. Like I want to be that person that you just watch during your lunch lunch hour, you know? And like like for me, that's like the mumbo jumbo. That's kind of like the Logan Paul vlogs. It's kind of I don't really know who else, but. Yeah, I don't know. But I just want to be that person like, all right, I can finally go eat lunch now that Smitty uploaded a video. I want to make myself part of your daily routine, basically, to watch a video. And that's never going to happen if I don't get the videos up. So, again, am I confident enough to tell myself that I'm going to start getting videos out to you guys? Because I've been doing that for literally for like three weeks. And am I confident that I can do it at this point? Like, I don't know if I can promise that, man. And why is that? Why... I, I don't know if I can promise I'm going to get a video out to you guys every day. Because for the last three weeks, I've been saying that and lying. But you know what? I think the best way to start out a week is with a podcast. If Okay, here's the thing. Because, like, when I... Bruh. I remember I took that week off, and I was like, all right, so I'm just going to get... I'm just going to record a podcast, right? It's one hour out of an entire week. Can I get this done? Tuesday goes by. Nope. Wednesday goes by. Nope. Thursday goes by. Nope. Friday, Saturday. <sighs> when you know it's Sunday, and I'm like, bro, I don't have a podcast. Well, I'll just make a well-edited video tomorrow. So I got the well-edited video up, and then I was like, oh, sweet. Okay, we're back on the grind. I'll get this Minecraft tutorial up. All right, we got that done. I recorded a video with Nacho, which isn't out yet, but that's why he's been hyping the video up in the Discord. If you guys have been in the Discord, that's why Nacho's hyping this video up so much. He's in it. That's still in the editing process, and I spent two hours the other day and got a minute and a half of it almost done. But, like, bro, I'm just... It's not out, and I'm just falling into this trap. I gotta... <clears throat> ugh, I can't make the promise that I'm gonna upload every single day because I've been saying that for so long, and I haven't been fulfilling that promise. But, again, like I said, the best way to start out a week is the podcast. And when was the last time I had a podcast? When was the last time I had a podcast? I think it was two weeks ago. But it was with the Madster. I think it was the zombie one. Let's see. Yo, okay, see, the last time I had a podcast, I had like a full week, I think. I had a full week of videos. I think a podcast is just the best way to start a video. This is why I love having it on Sundays. It's just a great way to get me motivated to do stuff. And it's just like, you know, it's, 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 it is overwhelming to make a podcast. But again, they only take an hour to make, which compared to my other content is like nothing. So this is awesome. All right, I'm going to spice up the room a little bit. I'm going to turn on. My hype LED lights because I'm a hype beast. Sorry, a little off topic. Wow, are they actually not going to turn on? All right, well, um, that's a rip. Yo, I always thought like I'd get off topic in my podcast and like they'd get boring. But I was listening to like a Logan Paul impulsive podcast and they literally went on like a seven minute tangent for an ad promotion talking about this like gambling app and they played it for like seven minutes. I was like, wow, I thought my podcast got boring at times. But they, they were literally just doing that for like seven minutes. That wasn't very fun. Bro, all right, well, those lights aren't coming on. But anyway, yeah, it comes back to it, man. I can't promise that I'm going to upload a video every single day. <sighs> Bro, that just sounds, that just makes me sound terrible. Because again, man, I, you guys have literally given me what I've always wanted, which was like a f small fan base I can literally talk to whenever. Like the Discord server is booming. Join the Discord server down below. I wouldn't say we're booming, but like if we, if I want to like talk to you guys, dude, that's one of the greatest things with having like a small YouTube channel. If I want to talk to somebody, I have like multiple people. I talk to like Float and Cookie, Dova, Josh, like God, not like anybody. And it's just so awesome, man. And uh, bro, if y'all need somebody to talk to, just DM me on discord. I'll hit you up. Cause it's like so awesome having people to talk to and join our discord. If you want, if you want to join, join the squad. I, I love our discord community, even though we're not, I'm not very active. I'm sorry, but when I am, it's awesome. And you guys are, you guys are awesome. I mean, we have had to ban a few people, but it is what it is. Nevertheless, join the Discord for the latest and the greatest updates. <clears throat> yeah, man. Like, you guys are literally giving me what I want with this YouTube channel. You're, you're like, bro, the support. Like, what what did Kentucky Fried Clan, I think he told me, he was like, Smitty, you're, you're a great entertainer. And I was like, thanks, man. That's, that's like the best compliment you could possibly give me right now because that's what I want this channel to be. I want it to entertain you guys and make your days better. Ho hopefully become a part of your daily schedule. And, bro, how am I going to do that when I'm uploading two times a week? I'm not going to. And dude, I'm still just stuck on this question. Can I promise you guys to upload a video every single day? I want to say yes so hard, but I literally can't promise it. Bruh. But <laughs> have I even told you guys the schedule yet? I don't know if I've addressed the schedule yet in a podcast. I've said it on Discord, but here's the schedule, everybody. If you're still listening, you're awesome. What's up? We're like probably 14 minutes in. Hopefully this isn't boring. Again, 
I'm like the really quiet dude. I don't know. I'm like, if anybody in the world who knew me saw that I do a podcast, they'd be like, what? Like what? You're the one who's doing the podcast. You're like literally the most like awkward person ever. And you decide to do this, but I don't know, man. It's just because sitting in here talking on the internet, I just, just feel so comfortable. I don't know why I feel so comfortable making videos. And it's just like, it's not that I'm fake. It's just like, I just feel so much more comfortable on here, man. This is not how I am in real life at all. I'm not this outgoing with the words and stuff, but whew, bro, where was that? Okay. Yeah. The schedule. Okay, so if, if you guys are still listening, you're probably enjoying the podcast. But here's the schedule, right? Here's here's what I want. Here's the ideal situation that I want to follow, all right? Podcast on Sunday. This is every single week. A podcast on Sunday. A well-edited video for you guys on a Monday. <coughs> What's Tuesday? Tuesday's a Minecraft tutorial. You guys might, might not like Minecraft tutorials, but again, they're just like short, like two or three hour videos to make. And here's the deal. To be honest, if any video is going to blow up, it's probably going to be a Minecraft tutorial video. Like, I'm going to guess my like my subscriber special videos aren't going to blow up just because they're not big in search algorithms. You know, nobody's going to look up Smitty 800 subscriber special. Nobody's going to look that up if they don't know the channel. But as somebody says, they look up like right right, right now. My best tutorial ever is a vertical double piston extender. That's one of my top videos ever. It's got like over a thousand views, well over, and like. That's that's all from search algorithms. So if I can like try to do Minecraft tutorial videos, I think they could help the channel show up in the search algorithms. To be honest, and of course, at the end of the day, they could help people build stuff in Minecraft. And at the end of the day, I just want to help people. So that's awesome that that's working. So we got the Minecraft tutorial on Tuesday. That's why I do those. If you guys don't enjoy them, I'm sorry. But again, they're just another video for another day, and they kind of they they're easy to make. They're only like two or three hours. Wednesday, man. Wednesday we have a live stream. When was the last live stream? Two weeks ago, probably. And here's the thing. Oh, dude, do I want to be honest? Yeah, man, it's the podcast. We're keeping it personal on here. We're keeping it personal. I ha- <sighs> Bro, I don't think I've enjoyed a live stream. Like, I haven't live streamed in like two weeks, but I feel like the last live stream I enjoyed was a while back. Like, the last couple live streams I had, I just, I haven't been feeling it, man. I was like, oh, I have to live stream it. And I'm like, yeah, this might sound terrible. It's nothing against you guys. Like, I th- it's awesome you guys show up to live streams. I'm sorry, I hopefully don't take this wrong, but I think it's just more of like the Minecraft world that I stream that's kind of getting old for me and I feel like for a lot of other people. And I just feel bad because people are like, Dova, I know you're working on some crazy builds in that world, so I don't want to end it for you. But again, man, like I'm just getting very bored with Smittycraft, which it's literally been two weeks off and I feel like if I did a live stream right now, I'd still be bored of it. I don't know why, man. I think it comes back to Minecraft just being that game. For me, it comes back for like two months and then it's gone for like four months and then I'll come back to it in two months. And it's just, I'm in that stage right now where I kind of just want to quit Minecraft. But if I do that, I have no idea what I'm going to stream because here's the deal. With the live streams, I feel like you guys just show up to play with me. You don't show up to watch me at all because like, bro, I'm not a good streamer. Ha- okay, my streams don't crash anymore, but they used to crash all the time. Bro. Thank you guys so much for sticking with the streams, by the way. There was one day where the stream crashed like four times. You guys were still there. That's awesome. But I don't think I'm a very good streamer, and I think the only reason you guys watch is to is basically just to play with me. It's to play on the world anyway, and that's that's really about it. You're not there to watch me play Minecraft because what Dova said in the comments also, stop mining in the videos because it's so boring. Do something else. Find something else to do. And again, it comes back to me just like not wanting to disappoint people with my builds, bro. Even something as small as Minecraft. Am I like obsessed with not? I just want to make everybody happy, man. That's Is that a problem or is that a strength? I don't know. I feel like it's in the middle because I'm not ever going to make everybody happy. So I have to get used to it. I'm going to make some people disappointed in my Minecraft builds at some point. But I just don't. I just choke under pressure when I have to build stuff live on stream. If I was by myself, I'd be like, all right, I can do this. But with people watching, I'm always like, all right, I'm just going to do something stupid. <laughs> it's just going to look terrible. But it's Minecraft, Smitty. Come on, man. You got you to chill. It's, it's literally just Minecraft. You don't have to sweat the designs unless you're Dova. But Dova, Dova's, Dova's top, top notch. And I never had that creative world to sweat in, but you're good, man. You're good. Where are we at? So that's that's the Minecraft. That's that's the, that's the live stream on Wednesday. The Minecraft world, which once again, in my opinion, is kind of getting old. If you guys are participating, that's awesome. Thank you so much for the support, dude. I remember when we started that Minecraft series. I was like, bro, a Minecraft, a Minecraft community world. I mean, this really isn't gonna be fun if like nobody joins. But dude, it was like an instant success. Thank you, Minecraft Bedrock, for crossplay, even though. Like, your version sucks, and it crashes, like, at least half the time. But thank you so much for crossplay Minecraft Bedrock. You got that going for us, so we're good. Anyways, thank you all so much to everybody who's played. I think it's getting old. We're going to have to figure out something new with the Minecraft stuff. I'm sorry. We're going to keep it going for now, though, I think. I don't know. I haven't live-streamed like, two weeks, so I haven't decided yet. But anyways, we have a... Okay, so we got Podcast Sunday. Anything. A well-edited video. Any well-edited video on a Monday. Minecraft tutorial Tuesday. A live-stream of anything. Probably Minecraft on Wednesday. Thursday is another well-edited video. Here's the thing, man. Again, the well-edited videos probably take like 10 hours on average. Two videos a week that take 10 hours to make. Does that sound like a lot? 
I don't think that sounds like a lot. But then if you count for probably like nine hours a day on average of work, and if you account for me wanting to go golfing, which I've I've prioritized golfing over making a video so many times. And I don't know if that's a good thing. I want to do what I want to do, but I also have this community of people who expect me to do stuff, and I need to get that done. And I'm going to be honest, guys, bro, I'm exposing myself so much. I hope you guys don't take this the wrong way. But I have, like, known that I've had to make a video, and I've just went golfing instead. Like, literally today, I wasn't going to make a podcast until you guys told me to because, again, I don't want to disappoint you guys. And once you guys made that vocal, it literally motivated me to get this done. And that's what I need. It's I feel like it's a weakness of mine that I need that person pushing me on to get stuff done on time because, like, Dude, I'm such a big procrastinator. Like the biggest procrastinator in the world. Literally, just a couple hours ago, I was doing my my uh, public speaking class for college, which is which all the assignments are due on Sunday. I saved them all till Sunday. I saved this podcast until what time is it? 8:32 p.m. on a Sunday when it's supposed to come out Sunday morning. Like, what I want to do is I want to get these out at Sunday, at like 10 a.m. preferably, so you guys can like. I feel like a lot of people, you know, maybe come home from church. Maybe you guys aren't religious, whatever. You be you. But if you come home from church, you'll just grind that Minecraft world out Sunday afternoon. Everybody's maybe taking a nap. You can listen to it while you nap, bro. Podcasts are so like relaxing, dude. I love, I love listening to podcasts, even though, like, they're just they're just good stuff. But that's the goal of the podcast, and I've just, bro, it's coming out. It's gonna come out at like midnight. Like why? Like I mean, I guess listening to podcasts will fall on asleep is good too. But for our UK friends, it's gonna be coming out at like six in the morning. So I gotta, I gotta start getting stuff done, man. I gotta. I'm such a big procrastinator, bro. It's terrible. And I think it's one of my weaknesses that if I have nobody pushing me, if you guys don't tell me to get videos done, which that's not your job, I need to get them done myself. Is that the only other thing that's pushing me is time? And bro, recently, not even time's been pushing me for schoolwork. Time's pushing me because I have to get schoolwork done to get a good grade. But why, dude, why am I not looking at YouTube like that, guys? I don't, bro, I'm exposing myself so hard, but I have just, I'm losing motivation. And why is that, man? Why is that? I've literally, at the peak of people subscribed, of people watching, of people liking, of people leaving comments, and I'm not delivering. I should be, like, happy right now. I should be grinding. But instead, bro, I, like, going back to, like, the fifth ever podcast I made, I was like, all right, I'm already burned out, guys. And that was, like, two or three months ago. But after saying that, I continued to upload a video every single week. And where is that now? Where is that now? I just don't feel it. Like, where is it? Bro, I'm literally just exposing myself. I'm just I'm just coming out truth with you guys because that's what the podcast is. I'm just going to be personal. It's the podcast. It's Minify Podcast. Hopefully you'll enjoy. We should probably put this on iTunes or something. So, <laughs> I mean, not to sound selfish, but it does give me, if you guys listen all the way through, I think it gives you, me a lot of watch time, which is awesome. Watch time is very important. But nevertheless, if, if I can get this on iTunes someday, that'd be awesome. Which I have put an app on the App Store before, which it costs like it costs like a hundred bucks to get an iTunes account or whatever to put stuff on there. So I'm probably not gonna do that for a while. But like, bro, I just need to start grinding. Are we are we still on the schedule? Are we still on the schedule? I'm gonna be honest with you guys right now. You know how I used to. I'm the type of person I told myself like a few podcasts ago, like if you don't have stuff written down, you, you're gonna have no idea. You're gonna lose topic. You're gonna repeat yourself. You're gonna lose track of where you're at. You need to have stuff written down. You need to have notes for every single podcast. And for the last few podcasts, I told myself like. I get prepared for the podcast like a couple hours before I'd write down like 80 bullet points, man. I have literally on my phone right now, I have notes that contain floating cookie with the swastika, bro. Take that off. <laughs> God dang it. I, I'm going to get canceled for laughing at that. But floating cookie changed his name to a swastika on the Discord. Please, please remove that. But it's on my phone, I have notes, dude. I have this right here. It says, I mean, I know you guys can't see, but I'm just visually, all right. I have notes called the podcast. And if you go in here, man, hundreds of bullet points, hundreds of talking points that I've ever talked about. Like if you go to the beginning, it has the first ever notes I ever wrote down, which is intro. Welcome. Thank you all so much for 20 subs. I still have that written down. And that was like three, four months ago. So like, again, I'm the type of person I want to be organized. I want to be prepared for something. And right now with this podcast, I'm going to be honest with you guys, because it was so short notice, I just sat down. I was like, no notes, no notes. I have a few topics that I want to talk about. Let's get into it, man. It's the Smithify podcast. We're not professional at all. And anyway, once again, I, I suggest you guys make a podcast. Kentucky Fried Clan, congrats, man. I, I applaud the podcast. Phaser Phaser, I saw your podcast. Awesome, guys. We're going to have that to look back on in a few years. We're vibing. We got podcasts to look back on, man. And like, bro, I just completely forgot what I was saying. Yeah. Anyways, I have no notes, and I'm just I'm just freestyling this. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just going, man. I don't have, I'm not reading anything. I've just sat down this whole time. I had a few topics in my head that I wanted to talk about, and here we are, the Sminify Podcast, episode number 12. What do you call it? impromptu is that what you call it and i think we're like 25 minutes in impromptu so that's pretty epic 
But anyways, yeah, that's where we're at here, buddy. If you're still listening, like, I know you're interested in this stuff, which is absolutely awesome. And the fact that, like, I could have people still listening from, like, different parts of the world, man. Like, you can, this is literally what I want to be happening. I want this to be happening. An active fan base from all around the world, and I'm just not delivering for you guys. And I know I'm not, and I've been saying it for the last, like, three weeks that I'm going to get on the grind. But when will it happen? When, bro, I, I can't promise and I don't know why. Like right now, honestly, like I said, the best way to start a week is to get the podcast out. Because after this, I'm just, dude, again, podcasts are just so refreshing. Like Kentucky Fried, Phaser Phaser. If you guys made your podcast, like by the end of them, I just feel like great, man. Like I just got so much off my chest. I can go back and listen to it later. You guys can listen to it. It's just awesome. And after this podcast is done, I'm probably going to take a shower. And then I'm probably going to work on the video, which is going to be a well edited video, which should come out on Monday. Because again, well edited videos come out on Monday. So I have a well-edited video recorded with Nacho, of course, which is why he's been hyping up the Discord server. I'm trying to get that out by... Here's the deal. Am I going to try to get that out by tomorrow, or am I going to get that out by tomorrow? <sighs> Dad says I need to go to work at 8 in the morning tomorrow. I don't know how long that could be. I got a minute and a half of the video done. I probably got like six hours left of editing. Dad says I have to go to work at 8 in the morning tomorrow. I don't know how long that could be. If he, like, if he keeps me working until like... If, if I put a 12-hour day tomorrow, like, <sighs> am I going to be able to get the video done? Like, if I put in, like, two or three hours of editing tonight, oh, it's so difficult, guys. Okay, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. All right, if you're listening, tomorrow you will get a well-edited video. Tomorrow you will, in fact, get a well-edited video. It's coming out. I'm st- I'm just putting it out there. And now, again, if it doesn't come out, you guys come back here, <laughs> clip this, and show myself lying because it's coming out. And if it doesn't come out, then I it just clearly shows that the motivation is just not there. And if this continues, if I continue to upload like two videos a week, if this continues and I just keep failing you guys over and over again, eventually, eventually, and this is my next biggest fear with YouTube related, people are going to start leaving and the channel, the channel is going to start dying. And if the channel dies, so does a piece of me. No, not that, not that deep, but honestly, kind of actually like literally at this point in my life, my life's work, the YouTube videos I made, is that cringy to say? Like, honestly, like what else have I done? I'm 17. I haven't graduated yet, bruh. My life's work can be seen in my YouTube videos, which go all the way back to 2013. This might be cringy, but that's like literally the truth. And just to see the channel die that I've worked so hard for the last four months to build up, it would hurt. But anyways, yeah, you guys have told me the Discord that you're probably staying, that you'll never leave. But is that true if I continue to not do stuff? No. Video's coming out tomorrow. We're just saying it. I got to hold myself to something, you know? I got to hold my... I can't sit here and not promise that because then it's not going to get done. I got to hold myself to a standard and I got to say, guys, a video is coming out tomorrow. Expect it. Well-edited video. Let's get it. After that, we're going to have... See, here's the deal. I literally just have to get two well-edited videos up a week. That's it. The other, Minecraft tutorial, live streams, top five. That's the other one. Top fives come out on Friday. Those take three hours max. Three hours max to make those three videos. So basically, three of those videos equals one well-edited video, because three hours for each of those, nine hours, and a well-edited video is probably ten hours. Two of those. I just need to get two well-edited two well-edited videos a week. That's it. That doesn't sound like a lot, but honestly, it is, because time goes by so fast, guys. Like, again, it's already, bro, it's already June 21st, y'all. Like, what? Bro, I graduate, like, I graduate in, like, 10 months, 11 months? Dog. I don't even have a year left. Dude, that hurts me inside, the fact that I'm already about to graduate, bro. Again, like I said, I'm I'm a person who's very interested in the concept of time and looking to the future. Like, I always feel like I'm looking too far into the future, never living in the present. Bro, I graduate in like 11 months. And we got to get this channel going because you guys remember why I started this channel? It's because I knew I had like a year until I graduate. And I was like, bro, what better time to get a channel going? I've always wanted to have a, like a well channel. I think I have the potential to make a well channel, like a good channel, a well channel, a good channel with active people. And it's coming true, man. It is. Apparently I'm getting the job enough done for 900 people to join, which is epic, man. And people are watching and supporting. And I only got 11 months left. And then after that, bro, decisions, decisions got to start happening right now. What do I want to do with my life? I have no clue, but I got, I got the outskirts. I want to, do I want to entertain people, man? Bro, YouTube is definitely just a hobby. Like, I don't know if I ever want to be a YouTuber. I don't know. <laughs> That's so weird to say because if you ever say that, people are going to be like, no, you can't do that. Like, I don't know. But, like, I just want to, like, I want my job to in some way just help people make people's days better. Like, I told, like, if that's inventing new technology, if that's making videos for you guys, if that's writing algorithms to help people. Like, again, I'm definitely going to do something technology related because I'm very, like, tech savvy and stuff and... I've just been, I definitely have an interest in technology. I'm kind of fascinated by it. It's, it's, 
it's such an expanding field too. You can find a lot of money in that, but is it about the money at the end of the day? No. Is it though? I feel like as a young person, I've just had this big idea that I want to be so successful. I just want to make so much money in life, but is that really what it's all about? I don't know. I have no clue, dude. I'm so young and stupid. I just have no clue. But anyways, yeah, I want to, I want to make people's days better somehow with my job. So if that's content creator, if that's, uh, making technology, I don't know what that really means, but something like that, man, that's what I want to do. And right now we only got 11 months to get going and make decisions and get the podcast going, get the channel going. Let's go, everybody. Come on. Bro, what am I doing at this point? This is what happens when I go impromptu. I don't know if this has been a good episode. I never know. It always just feels so like cringy and just so weird. But the good thing is I've been talking for, I've been talking pretty fluently for 30 minutes. We're halfway done. Wow. That goes quick, man. Kind of, but kind of not. It, go, it goes kind of slow, but again, it, it goes quick at the same time. You know, you feel me? But yeah. Bro, I like the thing is I'm so happy inside because I know you guys are going to be surprised by this podcast coming out, and I'm really hoping you guys are going to enjoy it. And remember, it's just because of you because I need, I need that person to motivate me, which is terrible that I say that. I should be able to motivate myself, but if I don't have the person who's disappointed in me, I'm not going to get it done or if I'm racing the clock. But, dude, I just got to stop procrastinating. After this, I'm taking a shower. I'm working on the, I'm working on the video for tomorrow. I've set that down. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to go golfing again. I've been to the golf course twice today. I'm not going to go watch TV. I'm not going to watch Supernatural. I'm going to work on the video. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, everybody. Well, I'll let a video come out tomorrow. I feel like I'm going to repeat myself for an hour. It's only been 30 minutes, but I feel like I'm going to repeat myself. Anyways, we're so close to 1,000 subs, everybody. Again, for the 1,000 subscriber special, we're going to be doing a face reveal, which, by the way, I'm just going to let you all know I'm not a very, like, cool person. I'm just, I'm just so generic, you know? Man, you know, like, I just... <laughs> Like, I just like plain food. I'm just a very generic. Like, <laughs> think you're building, like, a character in 2K. 2K, you know, the basketball game, everybody, you know? 2K. Some people don't know anything about basketball, which I just don't understand how you wouldn't know anything about basketball. That confuses me. But anyways, I'm just, like, the generic 2K build. That's it. So I'm, like, not that interesting. But, you know, the face reveal is still going to be lit because it's been sitting. The face cam has been sitting on my monitor for three weeks and the thing was like we were going so fast back then we were, we've been stuck at 900 subs for like a month maybe not three weeks maybe and it's like holy crap i don't know if the face cam is going to get here before we hit a thousand because we were going so crazily crazily which is awesome and when you know it shows up and we it sits there for three weeks doing nothing but once again when it comes plan doing uh doe was said today do like a world at war or like a just call of duty campaign walkthroughs and i was like yeah that'd be awesome but i feel like you need a face cam to make those interesting otherwise it's just like really boring i think and like Bro, another big fear. Right now, I'm relying on the face cam to show up, and like we can use the face cam, and I can like, I feel, I feel like face cams just add a whole lot to videos, you know? Like I find that like people are doing a playthrough, I just watch their reactions on the face cam half the time instead of watching the actual gameplay, and I can do like reaction videos, I could do setup tours, I could just vlogs, dude. I want to do a vlog, go out to the farm, show you guys the golf course. I think that'd be sweet because I think I can make those interesting. But like another big fear I have is that. We use the face cam and I just still, I still have to spend like 10 hours making videos because I just want to use the face cam not to make lazy content, but I just want to, I want to reduce the time it takes to make videos because it takes so long. It takes so long. It's ridiculous how long it takes me. And I don't know if that's a me problem because the only way I've ever known how to edit is just to put in like 50 million edits in the video, which is what I do right now, which takes multiple hours as we've discussed a million times this episode. I might need to try out a new editing style. I don't know if it's because I literally use iMovie, which is a free editing software for Mac products. It gets the job done, but I feel like it could be slowing things down for me or maybe lessening the quality of things. I don't know. iMovie just crashes like all the time, which is my only complaint with it. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good software, I guess, kind of. But then I don't know what I'm missing out on because I've never had anything else. So people with Adobe Premiere, is that what it's called, with Final Cut Pro, they're probably laughing at me and (laughs) like, bro, use iMovie. But yeah. Dude, I just, I'm so proud of myself. You see that? Once I sit down and I get doing something, I can get it done. I just have to have that that drive to get it done. And now that I started this podcast, it's going to get done. It's going to get up by tonight. And you guys are going to be satisfied with the content, I hope. Satisfied with that. And so am I. And it's such a good feeling, man. Because remember, the comments, the comments are just the best part, man. The, the feedback, the fact that people watch the videos. I upload a video. I see that in an hour. It's got 60 views to 100 views. That just... That just feels so rewarding, so rewarding. And every time I finish those ten-hour videos, and I see like the like the the views coming back in, it just it just feels great, man. It just like cancels out those ten hours I just spent making that video with with me just being satisfied, happy with the numbers, awesome stuff. 
and again, man, that feedback, and I hope you guys are enjoying this, and it's just awesome to get content out to you guys. Like, I just, I need to make something. Like, come on. Yeah, dang it, dude. I have such a weird spot. The channel's in a weird spot. The world's in a weird spot. I don't know. Yeah, anyways, it's summer, everybody. Hope you all are having a good summer, because again, we're already almost through June, which is, bro, how are we already almost through June? School's coming back in August, June, July, August. We're already there. Is school coming back in August? I don't know where the world's at anymore, man. Is school going to be open in August? Who knows? Who actually knows, man? The world is in such just... 2020, bro. Dude, I remember New Year's Eve. I was talking to Nacho. I was like, bro, I just survived my first ever decade. That was my childhood gone. That was it. 2010 to 2020. That was my childhood. That was when I was from 8 to 17. I was like, dude, I feel so old. I'm never going to get those years back. We're done. Everybody with me right now, if you're like 17, whatever. If you're like 12, just enjoy the years. Please, if you're 12, just sit back and just think about it. Like this, you're living your best life if you're 12. I'm going to be honest, dude. That's just, life starts when you're like 12. <laughs> and that's just awesome. If you're 12, you're not too old. Just enjoy it while it lasts, which is so cliche. But here I am, 17. Like, bro, I got to enjoy this while I last. And I'm pretty sure I've said this in a podcast before. It's that Macklemore song. I wish somebody would have told me when I was in the good old days or whatever. Right now, these are the good old days for all of us. For all of us, I know like there's a global pandemic going on and everything, but in five years, I'm going to look back on this and be like, bro, I wish I was back in 2020, which I, I still think I'm going to say that. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't just because how messed up this year's been, but I'm also, these are the good days because we are still young. We're the youngest we'll ever be right now, and now I'm older than when I said that. And it's just such a weird thought, dude. I'm so interested in time. <sighs> bro. Yo, I've really just been like going off this episode. I've just been doing a lot of... Pff- so cringe, but I don't even care, man. I don't even care. I'm just, that's what happens when I just freestyle, you know, when I just go impromptu and I just start an episode with no notes. We just try to do stuff. Yeah, what's up, everybody? Should I, should I discuss the world? Do I want to get into politics, dog? <sighs> all right. Yo, politics, all right? What is it with politics these days, man? I feel like people have this notion nowadays, if we don't agree politically, like, you can't be my friend. I feel like people, there's literally people who think that. I feel like there's people who think, if we don't agree politically, I should kill you. Like, I literally think there's people who think that. It's just gotten so divisive in the U.S. Bro, are we on the, are we on the brink of a civil war soon? Because it's just, oh, dude, see, I gotta be careful in politics, because, like, I just feel like people get so mad. Like, if we disagree politically, dude... Like, I don't care. You be you. Like, I, here's the, I'm never going to bring politics into the regular content, but because this is a podcast, I don't really care. I'm just going to keep it real in the podcast. You know, I'm just going to keep it personal. We're going to talk about real life stuff because it's the podcast. But again, I'll never bring like politics into like a well edited video and like into like subscriber special because that's not what we need. Modern Warfare, we don't need you telling us that you support black lives. Everybody supports black lives. Okay. I don't need Modern Warfare giving me a screen that says Black Lives Matter before every single game. I don't need that. Nobody wants that. All right. Everybody, everybody already knows. I, I look at somebody. I assume that they, that they support Black Lives. I just assume that because literally everybody's modern warfare. You don't need to tell me that. But here's the thing: people nowadays will literally cancel you. They'll say that if you don't say anything, it's because you're racist. That you don't support black people, bro. bro we're just people, dog. Like obviously, I support Black Lives. I shouldn't have to say that. You should just look at me and assume that I, that I support black people, dude. Like, bro, dude. I hate Twitter. I absolutely hate Twitter. Where's my phone? We're going on Twitter, all right, everybody. We're playing a game called "What is What Stupid Hashtag is Trending Right Now." Okay, it is. It is. Adam Driver is over party. Who is that? Let's look at this. I don't know what this is. Oh, oh, I don't know who that is. But okay, that's that's not politics. Crap, I probably did. Okay, Tommy, who's this? Tommy's over. Okay, no, it's stupid. Okay, it's Father's Day, so there's nothing like politically related in here. Jennifer's butt. No. Okay. <laughs> dad's care okay at least bro i saw they have like mother's day trending today like i just i expected that bro there's just some for some reason people like dudes are just i don't know man that's just how the world is dude you know what's gonna happen this fourth of july though i already know there's gonna be a trending hashtag on twitter that's gonna be like this fourth of july which is independence day in america we should be celebrating let's go baby let's go we're, we're free july 4th 1776 and there's gonna be a hashtag saying like cancel the fourth of july like america's racist or something like that and here's the deal like if you think america's if you think America is deeply, systemically racist, we disagree, all right? Just please stop. Like, where's the evidence of that? If you think the cops are racist, just please stop. And, like, I don't want to... I don't want to call people's names because I feel like... 
I feel like there's just this tactic nowadays where we just go to attacking people personally. Like, if they disagree with us on an issue, we'll just attack their character. We'll just, like, with the, with every single Trump tweet ever, you go into the comments, he'll say something controversial or something, I don't know, and you'll see people in the comments not even responding to what he said. You'll just see them making cartoons of him, like, sitting on the toilet, of him, like, like being a dog, of him, like, his mouth zipped. Like, bro, like, people don't even want to argue. They just want to attack your character. And, like, it's not, it's, it's, like it's effective making fun of people to get your point across. I guess like, it, like it motiv- like it, it changes people's minds. But at the end, it's such a weak like debate tactic. Just like calling the other person stupid, calling them a clown, calling them, calling Trump's rallies a circus, like doing that kind of stuff. Like why is it a circus? Tell me why. And then you'll eventually they'll just go on to say a bunch of racist white conservative people. I'm like bro. I watched the Trump rally and I was like, I wish I was there. You feel me? Like, <laughs> I wish I was there, man. Like. The thing about the Trump rallies is, like, I'm getting political. If you disagree, it's all good. It's all good. Like, I don't hate you. We can have a discussion sometime. I should get somebody who disagrees with me because that'd be awesome. Like, yeah, man, I wish I was at the Trump rally because, dude, I look at Trump and I'm like, he sits there and he talks about America, how I want it to be talked about, man. He stands up. He says, we'll make America strong again. We'll make America proud again. We'll make, I love our veterans. I love our cops. I love, I love you guys. We're going to, we're going to make everything better. And that's what I love to hear. And he'll say, this is just the best country ever established. We're the best. And like, yes, you'll say Trump has a big ego. I know he does. We've all, we've all, we have, we all see that. We all see that, that Trump has a big ego at this point. I don't know why that's news to some people. But we'll look at that. He'll say we have the greatest, best, beautiful country ever. And okay, I know there might be people from other countries listening to this right now. Hey, your country's probably your country's probably dope. But honestly, to me, America is is what Trump calls it—the best country ever. He, I, to me, he really cares about the country. I really think he does. And then if <laughs> and then I look at the other side of the aisle, everybody. And if this is you, it's all good. But I see people who literally think that America is just the worst place ever. It's just only made for the white people at the top and it's just it's made to put other people down and it's, it's the most racist sexist like all you know they'll throw all those terms at you and like what is that man like what like what are you doing like you literally just need to sit back and like reconsider if you actually think that's what america is please please and then you have like people <laughs> chaz or chop you have people taking over sections of cities seattle dope you're like a hour away man <laughs> And like nobody's doing anything to stop it, man. Because if you do it, eventually you're just called a racist, and it's, <sighs> bro, dude. America's in such bad shape. And how did we get here? And here's the thing: everybody's gonna say Trump, all right? Not everybody, but a lot of people will just say Trump got us here. And dude, I go on Twitter and I see people blaming Trump for like coronavirus death deaths. Like, bro, like, <sighs> I, I, I didn't. Like I said, I didn't. I don't even know what Barack Obama did in office. I don't know if it was a whole lot. Which is the great thing about the president. He's not a dictator, everybody. Trump's not a dictator. He's not going to control your life. Please, please stop calling him a dictator. I saw people calling it a KKK rally at the Trump rally. Like, bro, like you people just need to stop. If you actually think that, just please stop. I'm not going to call you names because that's not an effective debate tactic. But like, why do you think that? Why do you actually think that? And at the end of the day, I think it comes down to. I feel like the media has made people think this, man. I literally think. It's the media, and now all of a sudden I'm just this right-wing conspiracy theorist. But honestly, at the end of the day, everybody, they are so divisive. They won't. I, dude, I'm gonna pull it up. Hold up. They can't point out one thing. They won't. They won't say one single thing that Trump's done good. You ready? I'll go look at these. And like, you guys might be like, "Well, Trump doesn't do anything good because you never see it in the news." Well, I like how he supports our country, how he supports our cops. How about people, people in the media? How about you make articles not supporting people who are gonna riot, riot, destroy cities? take off blocks you should call them losers like the people in chaz and chop right now you should be making fun of them like what are you doing you're not like you guys are a bunch of commies when you have the first thing you establish is your police department because we need our police if you want to abolish the police please stop please stop i know i'm getting like political but at the end of the day dude it's just making me so sad not even frustrated you know frustrated too it's making me sad that this is actually what people think of america and it's honestly i feel like it's just being pushed here you go i'm gonna sound like like i'm just a right wing crazy person it's being pushed by cnn msnbc all those news sources you know you might think i'm crazy but here we go CNN, here we go, CNN headlines, Trump criticizes removal of monuments, so I think recently people have been removing mon- monuments of like Christopher Columbus and like all the founding fathers because they held slaves, and like slaves, terrible thing, slave owners, not not a good thing to do, all right, that's terrible, I agree, I support, I support the Union, I support the North, it's good, like bro, people are saying that we invented slavery, no, we abolished slavery in the United States, that's awesome, that's a huge achievement, and, like, black people are living their freest, best life ever right now, man. And if you don't believe that, actually, you could just, like, DM me, DM me on Discord or something. I don't know. What's what's oppressing you, bro? If you if you tell me what's holding you back in life, I will help you fight it. If you're, 
if we're not equal, I'll help you get equal in this country. I don't know. You, we are equal, though, bro. At the end of the day, like, you can't tell me the cops are holding you back. The statistics literally just don't show that. But anyways, where are we at here? CNN. Trump criticized the removal of monuments. So Trump criticized the removal of the monuments. Oh, should we keep the monuments up? I really, I feel like we just should. I don't know. Like, it's good to remember history, everybody. If we rip our history down, we're going to forget about it eventually. And then it's going to repeat itself. And we're going to have another freaking civil war, dog, bro. Am I going to live to see that? That'd be tough. Anyway, Trump criticized the removal of monuments. The president slammed movements across the country looking... The president slammed. He slammed them. Trump uses racist term to refer to coronavirus. He called it Kung Flu. That's hilarious. Take a joke, people. I know he's the president of the United States, all right? I know he's the... Pre- Should he be, like, saying stuff like that? Like, no, but it, it's literally... It's Donald Trump, everybody. We've accepted at this point that he says stuff like that. He's. This is literally one of the reasons why he got elected, all right? You guys wonder why, like, all of his tweets are targeted at people. It's because he's the person who stood up to fight against these people. He would say what everybody was thinking, what everybody on the right was thinking, because we are sick. Like, I'm just saying, yeah, you guys know my political views at this point, but, like, if you disagree, it's all good. It's all good, bro. I'm chill. I, I'm chill, man. I'm down to have a discussion with people. But I just look at, uh, bro, but where am I at here? I didn't actually think it'd get this crazy. Like, I'm actually kind of getting into it here. But, like, dude, one of the reasons Trump got elected is because he's not afraid to call people out and just call out the the BS that's going on. Honestly, in the media, yeah, the fake news, everybody, it's honestly, it's it's true, man. These people, he's not afraid to call out how much these people literally hate him. Like, we're going back to this. Trump uses racist term to refer to coronavirus. He literally just called it Kung Flu. I get, I got over that in like two seconds. Like, if you're stuck on that to make a whole article about it, please. That, that's funny. He's an entertainer. He's also the president. I know. Should he be an entertainer? I don't know. It's Trump, though. We've all accepted this back in 2016. I got over it back in 2016 that he tweets stupid stuff, all right? Some some of the stuff he tweets is, is true, but other stuff he just aims at people. Everybody, I know, it's kind of divisive. But again, that's what his base wants to see. He wants to see them attack those people because nobody else will. Nobody else will. And, like, do I want to see it? I think it's kind of funny. And I don't know, is it helping, div- <sighs> bro, is anybody helping the division at this point? Is the media helping? Absolutely not. So they can't call Trump divisive. I mean, he kind of is, but they, they can't when they're literally doing it themselves. Trump proposes making flag burning illegal. See, I don't think flag burning should be illegal, but like, why would you burn the American flag? That makes absolutely no sense. Trump campaign texts people who signed up for the rally tickets. There's still space. Yeah, okay, not as many people showed up to his rally, which, by the way, if they're freaking out about people not wearing masks at the rally, the people showing up to the rally in fears of spreading coronavirus, bro, you literally just had, you were literally just promoting rioters and millions of protesters just like a week ago, and you didn't care about the coronavirus. Now Trump wants to hold a rally, like 6,000 people show up, and you guys are just freaking out. And, like, the coronavirus doesn't care whether you're protesting for Black Lives Matter, which I don't know if I support the Black Lives Matter movement. I love, like, I support Black Lives, obviously, but the Black Lives Matter movement wants to, like, abolish the police department, which is idiotic, absolutely idiotic, so I'm not going to support that at all. But obviously, I think Black Lives Matter, and I think everybody thinks that. I think everybody's innocent until proven guilty. I literally, where's that at? I think everybody's innocent until proven guilty. I literally just look at somebody, and I just assume that they support all lives until they do something that makes that proves to me that they don't and like guys i i support all lives i assume everybody listening to this right now supports all lives where am i going right now? i feel like i'm just on a huge tangent but anyways there's still space yeah look at that trump vilifies protesters before smaller than expected crowd at tulsa rally trump vilifies protesters basically he said if you show up to the protest you're not going to be handled how you were in minneapolis in i don't know where else but basically they're not just going to let you roam around and destroy everything that's basically what he was saying and i just i'm okay with that okay hear what these trump supporters think really think about the co- really think about the covid concerns how trump's ret- okay how trump's return to the campaign trail went from bad to worse fact check trump's tulsa rally littered with f- familiar false claims a travesty dr gupta reacts to trump's testing remark trump's campaign was trolled by tiktok users fewer trump's fans fewer trump fans came than expected they explain my opinion trump's r- tulsa rally was a flop if you go on CNN, you will never see, from here to Election Day, you'll never see one good article on Donald Trump. And it's like, you guys could at least make an article maybe about how he like supports the cops. Like, Would that help maybe ease tensions if you told people that they're not oppressed by the cops, that they're not oppressed by the system? Because they're not. They're literally not. <sighs> Bro. The media, man. They just frustrate me. I wish, <laughs> I wish just people would not listen to them. I, I'll, I'll go on CNN right now. Bro, I'm actually just talking politics, bro. It's, it's it's the podcast, whatever. Maybe this is interesting. Who knows? I don't know what I'm at anymore. Officials, see now... Okay, so they milked the Black Lives Matter. Here's what they did, all right? 
They built, they milked the Black Lives Matter movement for all it was, and then they pushed it too far. That people listened to them so much, they started making their own territories and their own countries with Chad or Chop, which or Chaz, which is basically where people just took over like six blocks in Seattle and they just made their own civilization. The media pushed them that far, and they were, then they were like, "Oh, we can't even agree with this." They pushed them to the point where people wanted to get rid of the police officers. Oh, we can't even agree with this. They they even realized that that's too radical, and now they're all back to COVID nineteen is just the biggest thing in the world. Now here's the thing: you guys didn't care about this two weeks ago when you're pushing your agenda. So I don't really if I see a COVID nineteen article anymore in the news i don't care like i really i can't take it serious anymore when two weeks ago they didn't care at all you feel me like it's probably still a huge thing but two weeks ago you guys didn't care at all and now all i see is just a bunch of covid stuff and it's just like bro, you're back to pushing this agenda again and it's just oh these people are so evil man they're so wicked all they do their only goal i feel is not to inform the people they want to inform you they want to try to in- persuade you that Trump is doing a bad job. Honestly, at the end of the day, I literally think that's what it is. Like, no joke, man. Like, they're just going to go back to COVID now until the next big thing pops up. Then they'll forget about COVID again, and then we'll come back to it. Anything to make Trump look bad. Let's attribute all these deaths to Trump because Trump did the coronavirus. Yes, he did. Trump, Trump, I don't know. Trump did everything to these people. It's just, (laughs) these people just literally, what did Trump tweet recently? Hold on, I just want to see this. (sighs) White House advised Trump administration preparing for possible second wave of coronavirus. (sighs) I just, I literally, Tulsa officials say 6,200 attended Trump rally. Yeah, by the way, not a whole lot of people went there. But shouldn't you guys be happy? Because that means that not as much COVID was spread. But like, bro, there were, I watched and there was like hundreds of thousands of people watching on YouTube. I'm sure millions of people were watching worldwide. I just want to say, let's try to get Biden to get those numbers. Joe Biden would never get those numbers. Like, here's the deal. I could honestly ask this to everybody. Would you rather go to a Trump rally or a Biden rally? I feel like absolutely everybody would rather go to a Trump rally. I'm sorry. Like, who wants to go to a Joe Biden rally? That would be so low energy. That'd be so boring. Why would I want to do that? The man, here's the deal, everybody. Joe Biden is such an off-putting candidate. And I'm just going to say it, man. The Democrats are such an off-putting party because when I look at them, like, I'm not speaking for everybody. I don't think everybody thinks this on their side. Like, you could have your own beliefs. But when I look at them, I think what they're pushing towards is the belief that America's terrible, that needs to be remade, that the cops suck, that everything sucks, that the American flag stands for racism, it should be burned, it should be stepped on, that this country is just absolutely terrible, that we should just, that rich people are just terrible people, that wealthy, that successful people, they must have got their wealth from the system somehow helping them. It's just, these people are so radical. They want to take away your guns, they want to take away your cops. And these people, when I look at them, and then they have this this old, like, 80-year-old 80, 80 dude who can barely even put together three sentences running, this party's so off-putting. I literally can't vote for them. I'm sorry, buddy. And I'm just going to say, yeah, like, whatever, dude. It's the podcast. Let's keep it personal, dude. I've gotten so far, dude. We started talking about the channel when this started. This is... Hopefully this doesn't make anybody mad. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm I'm going to vote for Donald Trump in November. And you guys might be like, whoa, how could you do that? And it's because when I look at the other side of the aisle, these people are so radical, and I literally see them bringing an end to the country with their with their rhetoric and with their, with their beliefs, man. It's just... I'm just letting it all out, aren't I? Wow. Wow, what are we? 53 minutes at Jesus. Okay. Wow. And if you don't... Bro. I actually just got to sell after that. That was actually very aggressive. I don't even know what I've said, but I feel like it's been kind of interesting. What's Trump tweeted? Let's look at what Trump's tweeted. If you don't, like... I don't think everybody believes that America is just the worst place ever, but... The left as a whole, I feel like their party's pushing towards that. And this whole cancel culture thing, if you don't believe what they say, if you don't recite it out loud, if you don't speak up and say what they want to say, they'll literally attack you and cancel you. You see Sky Jackson on Twitter, which is some, like, 14-year-old girl maybe who's just calling out people, like, high schoolers and trying to ruin their lives because of, like, obviously, like, terrible things they've said. Like, they've said the N-word, and she's trying to ruin their lives over that. And, like, obviously saying the N-word's a terrible thing. Like, that's awful. But at the end of the day, their lives really deserve to be ruined over that. Like, if they say it once in a Snapchat, are they really racist? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like people are joking sometimes. And it's just like, bruh, you don't have to take everything so serious. You don't got to cancel everybody. How about you go and talk to them? Maybe because you have so much influence, you can go talk to them. Maybe they'll listen to you. But instead, you just call people out to go and attack them and literally call their principles and go ruin their life. And it's just the worst thing ever. Evil people. Sky Jackson, like, what you're doing? Like, no. People should not be proud of you. You're doing evil things. Calling out people. That's Twitter, man. The Democrat House wants to pass a bill. Yeah, I don't care. Happy Father's Day. All right, Trump made a tweet. Happy Father's Day. What's the, what's the response is going to be? Only sixty two hundred people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Millions watching worldwide too, bud. Let's see Joe. Let's see Joe Biden do that. <laughs> God, I'm actually just June twenty first. One hundred twenty two thousand Americans dead. How many were fathers? 
That's all on Trump, isn't it? Yep. Every single COVID death has been on Trump. Absolutely. It's not on the... I'm sure that those millions of protesters who have went two weeks ago, that didn't do anything. But now that Trump's having a rally, it's all Trump, isn't it? Oh, ooh, it's, just, it's frustrating. This is actually what these people do. Bro. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, I love America. Best country ever made. If you're not from America, it's, it's all good. We're chilling. But nevertheless, I still think the country I'm from is just awesome. I feel like... Bro, when people put, I already know there's going to be a hashtag trending on Twitter on the 4th of July saying, like, cancel the 4th of July. And I'm just going to be like, shut up. Please, just shut up. Just please. Like, why? Republicans are the party of liberty, equality, and justice for all. We're here for the party of Abraham Lincoln and party of law and order. I love that tweet. I absolutely love that tweet. What do people say in the comments? Well, anything. I held up. They just went back to his rally being a flop. I think the Oompa Loompa song from Wizard of Oz would be fitting. Like, what? How is that even, like, a good... Like, how is that even a good response to that? I don't know, man. Like, literally just people will come back and just attack character. And it's such a weak debate tactic. We're never get, we're never going to get anywhere if all we do is just look at people and just attack their character and not make any progress in discussion at all. Like, all right. So if you think there's a race problem in America, let's figure out how to fix it. Let's figure out how to fix it. Let's not look at every single person in the entire world and just assume they're racist. Let's let's find a policy. Let's do something to fix it, everybody. But I don't think that there is a huge race problem in America. And it's just like, bro, dude, it literally hurts me to see this happening to the country. And it's just, oh, I love it so much. And it's bro, like the opportunity in America is just awesome, dude. This country is the greatest country ever established, in my opinion. If you're not from here again, we're chilling. But... Well, there's the politics. I didn't really think I'd get into it that much, but kind of did. I feel like this might be an interesting episode. I don't really know what I was saying, but hopefully it's interesting. I don't know. That's what it is. It is what it is. And where are we at here? 56 minutes, bro, just like that, dude. It's so refreshing to get all that off my chest. I know it was, like, political. And, guys, yeah, like, people say, like, politics is, like, stupid. We shouldn't talk about it. Hey. I think it's important at this point now than ever to talk about how we should probably stop these people from trying to cancel the police and cancel everybody. And <sighs> dude, I don't know. I'm just spitting off the top of the brain up here. 57 minutes impromptu though. That's impressive. And you know what that means? That means I'm improving. Cause I look back at the first ever episode. I was like, bro, you are not good at talking to people. You gotta, let's start this podcast. Let's get better at learning how to talk. <laughs> Basically. And here we are, 57 minutes without any script or anything, without any notes, and I think it went pretty well, to be honest. We talked about the future of the channel, we talked about politics, which, again, I just don't know why, I just get that feeling, like, talking about politics is good, like, people used to be able to talk about politics and just chill, but now if you talk about politics, it could be, like, life and death, it could be, like, we're friends, nope, you don't agree with me in politics, we're not friends, and it's, like, real. I'm not going to be bringing this into the regular content, it's the podcast, so I can really talk about whatever I want. If we don't agree, hey, we're chilling, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts and comments, DM me on Discord your thoughts, but like, there's no need to just start calling each other names because that's not going to get anywhere in discussion. Like, what's that going to get? Like, if you call me a clown and I just come back and call you like an idiot or something, like, how, how much progress have we made? None. And that's all that's going on today. And it's just, it's so awful what politics has become. <sighs> yeah, that's it. We're chilling. <sighs> Anyways, guys, um, Bro, it's 9.09 p.m. And I told you guys I'm going to get a video up tomorrow. And now I'm starting to feel tired. God dang it. I got to go to work at 8 in the morning tomorrow. Am I going to get a video up? <sighs> Bro. Ah. Am I going to get a video up tomorrow, dude? I need to get a video up, but I don't know. God dang it. Okay, you know what? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get a video up tomorrow. You know? All right, everybody. I'm just going to say it. Video is coming up tomorrow. It might be tomorrow at midnight. Like, I always get the videos out at midnight for some reason because I procrastinate, of course. It needs to be fixed. The world's in a crazy spot. The YouTube channel's in a crazy spot. We're at 59 minutes. Honestly, that was... That, that felt pretty smooth. That was a lot of talking. Wow. And will the LEDs turn on? Can we? Can this end the episode nicely with the LEDs on? Please. All right, I'm going to go turn the LED lights on above my room. You know, all the, I'm a hype beast now. All the TikTokers have it. Hold on, everybody. I'll be right back. Come on, lights. This this will make the mood so much so much better. <laughs> Not a whole lot of content right now, but all right, hold up. There we go. All right. Thank you. There. Let's help brighten the mood up. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that purple dude. When I get the face cam going, it's gonna be lit in here. When I got the, when I got the LEDs going. But I just see now. I have that feeling. I don't want to end the episode because I feel like it's been good. I feel like you guys might be interested in it. But you know, it is what it is. It's got to come to an end sometime. 
I'm gonna turn on the green lights. Dang, that's actually LED lights are so cool. Like I don't know. Like I feel like I was the last person ever to get these. You know, the the light strips you hang up in your room that change different colors. It's honestly so cool, man. I used to advise everybody to get one of these. Like you might you might think that's just a TikTok thing to do, but I don't know. It's it's cool. It's honestly so cool. It's gonna help out the streams a lot. I think once I get this face cam, once I can use it, which is right here. Am I gonna do face cam for the podcast? I don't know. I don't think I am. Just because I feel like I make a lot of weird facial expressions when I do the podcast and stuff. So I don't know. Yeah, that's where we're at, everybody. I hope y'all are chilling. I hope y'all are having a great summer. I hope y'all are just staying safe. I don't want there to be beef, all right? If you disagree with what I said with the politics, DM me on like Discord. I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. But like, we're just gonna sit here and call each other's name. That that's names. That's not gonna get anything done. So we're chilling, bro. Love all you guys. If you're listening, like you're actually, I love you. <laughs> like, I just love you, man. Because this is what I've always wanted to do: is have people like listen to my content. And if that's happening right now, bro, that's that's the dream come true. And I'm just starting to get into that like deep, the deep thought voice. But I really don't have anything to say. So, yeah, we're at we're at about an hour and one minute, an hour and one minute. And I don't want to end it for some reason. But I don't really have anything else to talk about. So, I hope you guys are willing to give me another chance at the channel, even though. I still have this feeling inside that I'm not going to be able to get the videos up every single day. And I don't know why that is. It's all I know why it is. It's because I'm honestly being busy plays a big role. But again, at the end of the day, I want to find a way to make... Well, I'm going to fix this pop filter. I want to find a way to make videos that are edited in like three hours, not ten hours. Because that would help so much. And I look at like Flight Reacts, you know. he's It's June, everybody. It's June. Flight Reacts, we know who he is. He just reacts to basketball videos and other things. And I just look at his videos and he puts like no effort into them like i i gotta admit he's a successful person he's got he's got the personality he's all personality but he's got no edits it's just him reacting to videos and i'm like wow i'm, I'm jealous because he puts like 13 minutes into a video of him reacting to something and that's an entire video it gets hundred thousand views and obviously i can't bash him he's successful he's figured he's figured it out man but again i'm just jealous at the same time because he can just make those videos that get hundreds hundreds of thousands of views and he puts like no time into them but again i love him he's he's good he's good he's good entertainment even though his jokes do get a little old that's my type of shot man but anyways, bro, is it time to end it? I don't know, man, because I just see myself in the future right now after that like kind of politics rant and after the YouTube rant, I could just be chilling, and I just don't want the episode to end. You ever just had that episode you don't want to end? I kind of feel like that's it for me right now. Again, at the end of the day, I want to do the podcast for myself, but if you guys want to listen to that'd be awesome. And again, it's just so important, dude. I love the podcast. It's Bro, I got to do this more often. I didn't even plan on doing this, and here I am an hour and in. It just feels so good because I know you guys are going to be happy now that I got the podcast done. Let's go, dude. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, yes, dude. Yes. See, it's just that satisfaction. Getting work done feels great, dude. It feels so good. People got to be motivated, and I just get it done. And I'm just sitting here changing these LED lights. I'm just vibing. I don't even know anymore. I just I feel so accomplished now that I got a video done. Dang, that feels good. Holy crap. All right. Yeah. I think I'm going to head out. I think I'm going to head out. I don't really know what else I have to talk about. Xbox coming out, I guess. I'm a, hey, everybody, what are we getting this? What are we getting this year? PS5 or Xbox One X or Xbox Series X, whatever it's called. I'm thinking the Xbox. I don't know. I think it's time for me to go back to my home. The Xbox 360, best console ever made, in my opinion. Maybe followed by the Wii. But the Xbox 360, I think I'm coming back. I'm going to get the Xbox this year, and it's going to be lit. And let's go, dude. I'm, I'm so excited for that, even though once I graduate, the games might have to might have to head out. I don't know. Dude. Uh, this podcast getting boring now. I'm talking in my slow, deep voice. <laughs> dude, I'm just chilling, man. I'm just living life, dude. Everybody just enjoy your life, you know? We're, we're in our best days right now. Let's just enjoy it, you know? You feel me? <sighs> Dog. Love you guys. Love the podcast. Love the channel. This is my dream. Hope you guys are entertained. I think I'm going to head out. I better just head out. I got nothing else to talk about. Impromptu. Hour and four minutes about. Thank you all so much. It's the Sminify Podcast, episode number 12. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Is the channel coming back? I hope so, man. But I can't confirm because I don't know at the end of the day. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna After doing this, I think I'm going to be able to get a podcast up every week just because I feel so motivated now that I got this done. It wasn't that hard. Like They used to be so overwhelming for me because I used to have to spend like two hours writing bullet points down cause it, to keep track. But after that, I just impromptu that. I thought it was a pretty good, pretty good episode. Is the channel coming back, everybody? The podcast is podcast is coming back as for the other videos i have no clue i have no clue <sighs> so refreshing dude i love doing you guys start a podcast please it's just 
even if you don't want to make it public, just talk to yourself. Just make record a video of you talking to yourself. In a year, you're going to appreciate it so much. You're going to love it looking looking back on yourself. It's such an awesome feature. I love the internet, even though it's a terrible place. But I, 20% love, 80% hate. That's the internet. I don't want to disappoint you guys. But I, again, I can't make promises because I've been making a promise for three weeks. And I don't think... I don't think I'm gonna upload a video every single day because again, there's day, like I put in a 15 hour day the other day, which is it's a decent amount of time. I worked from like eight until like maybe it was an 18 hour. Day. I worked from like eight until midnight. Like how am I supposed to get a video made if I work from 8 a.m. to midnight? <laughs> like that's literally impossible. But again, dog, I'm just, I'm just vibing. I'm literally carrying out this episode so long. And if you guys are still listening, that's awesome. But hey, future self, you're probably still listening. What's up, dude? We're chilling. We're living our best days, best life. Peace out, everybody. It's Sminified Podcast, episode number 12. Love you all. If you're listening, you are literally the coolest person ever. Awesome. Join the Discord if you want, and well-edited video coming out tomorrow. Is the channel coming back again? I don't know. I'm going to try, everybody. And this is this, this podcast has definitely helped me. I think the best way to start out a week is to make a podcast. And that's something that I wanted to do when I was going to come back to YouTube after taking a week off, but I failed miserably. And, dude, I am just going on and on and on without a script, which is making me so happy that I can do this. We're making improvements, everybody. We're making improvements as a person, as a channel, kind of. Let's hit a 1,000, everybody. That's, that's going to be such a big moment when I see those four digits. Like, hitting four digits, I feel like like not everybody can do that. Like, there's a lot of people who can get hundreds of subscribers, but, dude, that four-digit number, that just hits. That means something else. You feel me? Peace out, everybody. Thank you all so much. I'm probably going to get a guest on next week. I've said peace out like 15 times, dude. I just don't want it to stop. It's It's been fun. It's 9.17 p.m. i got to get the other video done. i got to take a shower. Peace out, everybody. Good night. I'm sorry this came out so late. I love you all. Thank you all so much. And again, peace out.